Christmas season is often referred to as the most wonderful time of the year. And it is a special time, unlike any other. The sights and sounds, the food, the family traditions, the days leading up to Christmas, especially with young children in the house, are filled with such anticipation. In our house, Advent calendars are a fun tradition, waking up every day in the month of December, opening up each window and eating the chocolate and counting down to the big day. For me, I love re-watching the Christmas classics, everything from The Christmas Story to Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer and Elf and the Grinch. I grew up in Orange, Connecticut, and in the early 80s, when I was about my son Matthew's age, my sister Pam moved back home with her two young boys, Josh and Sean. I'm only a few years older than my nephews, and we had a lot of fun while they were staying with us. With so many people living in the house, there were not a whole lot of places to hide the presents. And so one day, just a few weeks before Christmas, I remember my nephews bursting downstairs with excitement. Look, Ma! Transformers! <laughs> they had discovered the hiding place, and they were so excited to show everyone what they were getting for Christmas. This story always brings a smile to my face, as only kids that young could do such a thing. But here's my question for you. What are you looking forward to this Christmas? The songs, the presents, or the cookies? or the intimate times of worship that draw us into God's presence. For that is what Christmas is all about, Emmanuel, God with us. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. This Christmas season is certainly different than any other we have ever experienced. We may not be able to do the things that we are used to doing, but the gift is still the same, and the message endures. And it is a message that the world so desperately needs. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly a great company of the heavenly host appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests. Now are you ready to shout that out for everyone to hear? Emmanuel, God with us. Merry Christmas.